Hello, I'm Joral Farley on youtube.com slash Joral Techie, and in this iMovie tutorial, I will be showing you how to do some basic blue or green screening. Firstly, as usual, let's open up iMovie. Now, let's import some files. To do this, simply drag from the source onto your event. Wait until it's imported. This may take a while. Once your clips have been imported, you can drag them in to a new project. Once this has been done, hover your mouse over the clip and go into the preferences. Go into the video. You want to try to make the green screen or blue screen as green or as blue as possible. So, in this case, I would be decreasing the brightness, opening up some of the contrast, and increasing the saturation, as well as maybe tinting it a little bit more towards the green. Once this has been done, you need to go into iMovie Preferences. To do this, go into the top menu, select Preferences, and then click Show Advanced Tools. In order to create a green screen, you must first drag the clip, which you would like to be green screen background, onto the green screen. I'll be dumping this clip onto it, like so. In the menu that pops up, click Green Screen. Now, I should show up. Of course, this green screen does happen to be very imperfect and does not always work out the way you want it to, but for most purposes, it's kind of okay. If you would like to get rid of microphones or other things that are in the way, click Done. Then click on the crop tool. Select the clip to crop and then crop it such that only you are in the frame, like this. In this way, it looks much better. It's still not perfect, but that's just about all you can do in iMovie. If you want to do this the opposite way around, you can do that too, with a blue screen. One tip is that green screening will work a lot better with good lighting. And that just about concludes it for how to green screen and blue screen in iMovie. I hope you enjoyed this iMovie tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please visit youtube.com slash for more tutorials.